What's up guys, it's me Alan and I'm back with another video. Sorry, I gotta talk a little louder because the heater's on. Um, but anyway, that aside, we got another NASCAR diecast review to do today. And this is from the Arkham Menard series. Now, which is pretty awesome. Don't get the we don't get these diecasts all that often. Now funny enough, I ordered this diecast from the NASCAR shop.com or uh wait or technically <laughs> pre-ordered it way back in like April or something. Um, if you remember the Eric Armorola review I did um, a couple months back, that car was in that order along with this. Uh, Bob Wallace's uh, iRacing Sunoco car and uh, jo John Hunter Nemechek's Mystic Lubricants car. Um, the Mystic Lubricants and iRacing Sunoco cars have both been released in uh, the 124 scale. The 164 scale version of the Bob Wallace car got cancelled, or got DNP'd I should say. Um, I have heard nothing regarding the Mystic Lubricants car, so I don't know if the 164 version is going to get made or not. Um, but this one was released, and um, I got an email from uh, NASCAR shop saying that they weren't able to fulfill the order. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. So I ended up ordering this with a bunch of other ones that, um, off the circle be diecast. And this is going to be on Haley Deegan's number four Toter Ford Fusion. Yes, I said Fusion. Um, for DGR Crossley Racing, again, in the Arkham Menard series. Now, for Deegan, yeah, now, first of all, let me talk about Arcus for a second. You got Arc, you know, you got the Arkham Menard series, and then you've got, you know, the, uh, the, the West series or whatever. Uh, as far as Arca goes, this year has been a kind of a bad year for Arca, you know, obviously because of the pandemic and because of costs and things like that. There haven't, there have been some races where there just have not been that many teams. A lot of fans have been saying, you know, that Arca is dying. And of course, NASCAR, NASCAR, I think, merged Arca and K&N and the K&N East series or something um, last, you know, when they, or whatever. So there's that to consider as well. I, does NASCAR kind of give a damn? I don't know. Uh, but Haley Deegan's going to be moving up to the truck series next year. Um, she got her, her, she made her truck debut um, recently. And she's, again, like I said, she's going to be moving up to trucks next year. So congrats to her. Um, I don't think this is a rush because I, she just she's not going to learn a ton in ARCA with the lack of competition and I shouldn't say it that way because she was running against guys like Ty Gibbs, Riley Herbst when Ty couldn't race because uh, you know age restrictions at certain tracks. Uh, we had guys like Michael Self, um, Drew Dollar, uh, I'm trying to remember the others, I know there are more. Um, Derek Griffith was in some races, he's from New Hampshire by the way, so shout out to him. Um, I know I'm forgetting some. I know I am. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway. Um, all that aside. Uh, oh, Thad Moffitt would be another one, of course. Uh, but all that aside, though. What I'm hoping for is with Deegan. And, you know, I made video. I made a, a video on the channel regarding her and some stuff. that You know, some controversial off-the-track stuff. Um, as far as I'm concerned with Deegan. What I want for her is I want, what I want is, you know, is I don't want her to be the next Danica Patrick. I don't want her to get rushed up. So if she's got to be in trucks for a couple of years, put her in trucks for a couple of years. And then put her in Xfinity for a couple of years. Let her develop and go from there. But anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this diecast out of the box and get on with the review. Oh, and this diecast will be in Wave 6 of NASCAR Authentics. Although, we got a, we got a picture from somebody um, regarding the Authentics version. And apparently... And I'll show you this in a second. So, oh, okay, make sure it rolls. It does. Um, the general tire logos on the on the wheels or on the tires got rubbed off or got scraped off on the uh, Authentics version. So yeah, that 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 happened, which is weird, but like I I guess. Uh, even though the general tire logo is still right there, the what's on the tires is gonna be is not there for the authentics version. So it's weird, but it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. We don't really know why it's like that. So of course we go to the front, and yeah, that uh, the Ford Fusion logo is all crooked. I think the uh, headlights are a lot of place. Yeah, Toter built for extremes. Um, I think the Menard, I think the Menards logo on the front, uh, on the windshield there is a little off to the left. 
not gonna lie. But yeah, like I said, this is only the second Haley Deegan car. Well, th yeah, this is the second Haley Deegan car to get released. Um, we all we have her um, race win, uh, her first career KN race win version from last year uh, that got released in Authentics, which I already have and reviewed, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but anyway, a lot of excess decal paper. Good God. Yeah, the rookies that you rookie stripes on the back because yeah because oh my god that that rear window is sagged in jesus i know 9 is more typical of sagging on the on the windshield but not the rear one but jeez. but anyway so yeah I, I have to say though i am happy to have this die cast in the collection you know seeing it i was obviously going to get it and when i react when i saw what wave six was going to be um i was a little disappointed for two reasons. One, one because apparently there was a, a list of, uh, there was a leaked list of what the, the wave was going to possibly be. Um, it was never confirmed if it was or whatever, but some, it was just given to somebody. I'm not going to say who we got it from, whatever, or who, you know, how it got passed along. But as far as that goes, there were, that, the leaked list had a lot of exclusives in it, which I think was pretty cool. Um, and it was something that I was hoping Lionel would actually do. What the hell? Is that a bar stool logo? What the fuck? Sorry, hang on a second. I think that's a, I think that's a bar, sorry. Yeah, that's a bar stool logo right there. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at that. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, so, uh, you know, obviously you can't always trust the leaks, but... Um, I honestly thought the leak list was gonna be was gonna come true because there was a lot of um, exclusives in the way in the, the on the list, um, and then of course Wave Six came out recently, and this is gonna be in it. Most of that wave is exclusive is not is not exclusives. Um, you've got this. You have the um, the, uh, the the Chase Elliott Hooters truck, the Bubba Wallace Black Lives Matter car. And I think there's another one um, that were all recently released. Then you have um, the, or yeah, there's that. Then you have the Ryan Blaney body armor car and the Ryan Newman uh, Castro car, which were both released months ago. And then you have retreads of Kevin Harvick uh, Mobile One paint scheme and Brad Kozlowski Alliance truck parts paint scheme. Um, I guess the Alliance truck parts scheme's an exclusive this year because it might've been DNP'd, I don't know. Um, I heard, uh, Diecast Buffet mention that, but, um, and then the, really the only exclusive that's in the wave is, uh, the Ty Dillon car. Oh, and then there's the Kyle Busch Fudge Brownies, uh, M&M's car, which is the liquid color, uh, which gets the liquid color treatment, uh, this time around. I, I've been saying this for a hot minute now that I would like to see Lionel do more exclusives and less re-releases in the waves, um. I mean, it's like we're getting, we have three different versions of the Dale Jr. car that was ran at Homestead. One without the name banner, one on the front, one with the name banner on the front, and then the Authentics version from earlier this year. And we keep getting a lot of re-releases, you know, Gold Series diecast re-released in the Authentics line, um, especially ones that were released around the same time in it as the announcement of the Authentics wave. And yeah, so and it, and it, it makes me wonder what NASCAR Authentics, what they're going to do with Authentics, you know, for going on because of course we're now at the beginning of November and uh, we're only at wave six because of the pandemic so I'm interested to see what Lionel decides to do going forward please do not bring back the PTC mold that would suck especially because we haven't even gotten to the patriotic die cast yet so please do not do that please do not bring back the PTC mold don't don't do that but anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.